This is why craps is so hard. I mean, you feel like you're trying to be conservative. You're trying to work out something. And I'm telling you, three hits in a row, we've had a seven. That's how hard, that's how strong Big Red is. I feel like I'm getting upset and I'm not even, I don't even have any money at risk right now. That's, that's how bad it is. Hey guys, welcome to Mark the Point. Um, are you tired of losing money every time you go to the casino? Are you tired of watching all the rollouts and all the systems say you need a $3,000 or $2,000 or $1,000 bankroll and you just don't got it? Um, this may be the system for you. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a $500 bankroll. I don't think that you're going to need $500 to play what you need to play here. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go 64 across on every bet here. So 64 across right here, and that's the only amount of money that you're gonna that you're gonna bet per shooter. $64. You're never gonna press. You're only gonna collect. And not only are you gonna collect, but you're also gonna bring it back to your rack. So to give you an example, um, if any of these roll right here, let's say the inside, which is the five, six, eight, or nine, these are all ten dollar bets or twelve dollar bets. These are gonna pay fourteen dollars or fifteen for one. That's the payment. Now the four and ten, that'll pay eighteen dollars. That's a different story. Either way, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let's just say if the five hits. Let's just call it 15 for one, just because it'll be easier. Exchange out 15 for one. We're going to bring down the five. That's right. We're going to pull money off of this table and put it back into the rack. Okay. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Let's just say the eight hit. If they hit, we're going to do the same thing. We'll pay 15 for one or $14. $12 bet pays 14. We're going to take it and we're going to bring it down and we're going to bring it back to our rack. We we're not going to do anything else with any of the bets, guys. We're only going to take a bet take the hit and we're going to bring it back to our rack. Why? Because you're limiting your investment and you're getting set up for the next shooter. Because what happens if you're not putting money back into the rack, then the next shooter, if you have a PSO, you have nothing to show for it and you're down $64. But at this point in time, you're actually up $28 after just two hits. Granted, that's not 64, but if you continue to hit one of these other bets while you're at it, then you're going to continue to pull it back to your rack. And there, it may be at a point where eventually you have nothing on the table or just a 410. That's okay, guys, because you're always bringing money back to the table, never investing more than your $64 across, and that's it. I'm going to roll this out. I want to try to show you how your advantage of working your rack and working the money that's in your rack versus constantly going out or pressing too much to where you're actually not bringing anything back. Stay tuned, and let's see if this system is more sustainable and shows profit at the end. All right, here we go, guys. So let's get it set up. The table's set up. I have $500. Here's a bankroll. I have $400 in greens. I have $90 in reds and then $10 in whites. So that's $500. I feel like that's probably even a little high for the system, but let's try it out. We're going to try it for about 10 shooters or, or however long the video takes us. And let's roll it out. The first thing we're going to do, we're not playing the pass line for entry-level players. I do not play pass lines on most of my strategies unless I'm rolling out for somebody else uh, or rolling somebody else's strategy. I personally do not like the pass line um, just due to the odds that it gives you after the points established. I'd rather put that money in the box. That's for another video. You can check that out if you want to. Let's get a point established. Here we go. All right, your first point is going to be on the 9. That's a 639. So let's mark it up. Okay, so again, what we're going to do, we're going to drop down $64. So you can just do this. Just call it 50, 65, and the dealer will give you a dollar back. And then they'll set you up on $10 levels all the way across. So again, it's going to be 64, which is a $10 level on all the box numbers. And then the inside will pay you $14 or 15 for one. And then the 4 and 10 will actually pay you $18 just due to the odds of how they work. All right, here we go. Let's get it going. All right, it's going to be an 8. That's going to be an easy 8. That's a five, three, eight. So that's a twelve dollar bet. We're gonna do the fifteen for one just for the exchange out. Fifteen for one, and then we're actually gonna pull this bet down. Okay, so pull it down. And actually, what I'm gonna to try to do, I'm gonna to try to get my uh, my bets as even as I can, so I know how much profit I'm gonna to get to the back or get back to the rack in a minute to know when I'm in profit, so I can work that. All right, here we go. Next hit, and that's gonna be a five, two, seven. All right, so this is a good, perfect example. Yes, we lost a lot of money. We left a lot of money out here. But if you were a person who did a press and not collect, you may have lost out on 15 bucks. Granted, it's only one hit, but even so, it's still $15. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these out here. I am gonna go ahead and drop down 64. Just because we know that's what we have to have. Squat 65 with a dollar back. And I'm just gonna set him up here on the eight. And we are gonna be set up, ready to roll. Let's go ahead and turn the point off. And uh, let's get another point established. Here we go, all of our bets are off. 
basically they're up and down, basically, if you want to call it that way, up and off. Uh, that's going to be a hard six. That's a, uh, a hard six that rolled on me there at the end. Oh, there you go. All right, let's mark it up. And there we go. Let's do it again. All right, that's going to be a five. That's going to be a four, one, five. All right, so that's a $10 bet. $10 bet is going to pay us $15 or $14 for 15 for one. So let's go ahead and do that. Put this back into the rack. All right, that's hit number one. And make sure we pull this back as well. All right. And there, of course, big red, right? Uh, you try to show it off. It ain't going to work. Uh, one hitting down, a PSO uh, after one hit, whatever you want to call it, one hit. It's, it's bad news either way you look at it. Let's do it again. Let's drop down another uh, 60, sixty-five dollars. Give you a dollar back to change. Just go ahead and put it up there because we know we're not in profit. And I'm going to set up your last five here, and let's pull this back to the bank. So we know we're we're down, right? That's obvious. Two uh, two hits and down. And uh, let's get another point. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and make sure your notification button's turned on. The channel has been growing all because of you. I put out content like this every single week. Please make sure you're up to date. Make sure you hit subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. Let's continue with the video. Gosh, you gotta be kidding me, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Gosh, let's turn the puck off. We're gonna call it a 50. 65, 401. We're gonna set it all back up. This is why craps is so hard. I mean, you feel like you're trying to be conservative. You're trying to work out something. And I'm telling you, Three hits in a row, we've had a seven. That's how hard, that's how strong Big Red is, okay? He comes and whenever you're not expecting it, at any point in time, he's ready to snipe you. It don't matter what system you're rolling out, it's tough, guys. All right, let's go with a six here. Uh, at this point in time, it's time to change things up, I would say. But uh, but for the purposes of the video, we're going to roll it out, and I need to reset up my five. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, it is what it is, guys. That's, that's all you can do. All right, here we go. All right, that's going to be a hard four. That's going to be great. So a $10 four, that's going to pay us $18. Okay, so 18 bucks for the four. So we're going to grab it. We're going to pull it all the way down and pull this back to our rack. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because I know I'm going to need the reds in a minute, and I want to kind of shore up my rack a little bit, I'm going to take this right here. That's $100. And I'm going to give us four greens. Boom, just like that. Let's go and pull these to the front. We know we're still down. We pulled our four back. All right, and we're ready to roll. Let's do it. That's going to be a four, one, five. Okay, that's great. That's good. That's going to pay us $15. Uh, or 15 for one. So let's go and do that now. $15 goes up to the rack for one. And let's pull the five down. All right, there we go. Let's go, shooter. Let's keep it up. That's going to be a hard six. That's going to be a three, three, six. That's great. That is our point. So that, that $10 bet's going to pay us 14 or again, another 15 for one. Easy exchange. All right, and then we're going to bring down this bet, pull it back to the rack. Let's go and pull that 10. Let's move it to the back. And uh, we're getting a little bit closer. Not, we're not there yet. Let's turn the point off. So for those who are new, when the point's off, you have the option of turning these on or keep, or, or turn them off. I would say naturally keep them off, follow the puck, and don't turn the vets on, guys. Not when the puck's off. All right, here we go. That's going to be a 549. That's going to be our, our new point. Let's mark it up. Again, we're only working for these three. We're not worried about these no more. We've already got our investment back. Now we're working on these three. Let's go. And that's going to be a six. That's going to be a 426. We're not on the six. It does us no good. I know a lot of people are like, well, why are you pulling your bets down? You got to be conservative, man. When you don't have a when you don't have a big bankroll, granted, that's opportunity that we're missing. Don't, don't, don't get caught up in the full mode because uh big red sniped us twice, right? That's gonna be a three craps three. And there's our seven. See if we had those bets still out there, I would have sniped us again. Let's pull these back. These back to the bank. And let's get set up for another one, guys. Again, not not exactly the best rollout, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. I want to show you every role that's organic. I have a lot of people, you know, talk about cheating systems. I'm going to try to give you the results that I give you every single time uh, to give you the most realist, you know, realistic in a casino. So uh, people call us achieving cheating. We're not cheating, guys. We're just trying to give you the best information we can with what we have. All right, let's get another point established. Here we go. All right, that's going to be a seven. Good Lord. Let's shake up the dice a little bit. I think all my other dice are daggum somewhere else. Let's just grab, maybe we can grab the two separate ones. And not be the same ones here. All right, there we go. Two more dice. Let's try it out again. All right, that's going to be a four. That's going to be a three, one, four. All right, so we're going to drop down another $64 or $65. We'll give a dollar back. That's $65 with a dollar back. Yeah, we're going to set up $10 units all the way across. It's called 64 cross. You can tell the dealer that. They know exactly what you're talking about. All right, here we go. And we're all set up. We're going to be ready to roll, guys. Oh, it was a four. Smart four. Boom. All right, we're ready to roll, boys. We have a three, craps three. That's a one, two, three. Absolutely no help to me. 
And there's a nine. Okay, that's going to be good. So a five, four, nine, that's going to pay us another 10, pays 14. We're going to call it 15 for one. We're going to continue that trend. All right, there we go. Oh, let's pull the nine down. Let's not forget that. There we go. And that's going to be a seven. Good flipping gracious. What do you do, guys? At this point in time, I'm walking away from the table. I'm totally going dark because there's nothing you can do that wins this system, okay? Absolutely nothing you can do. We're going to continue on. Let's call it 65. I'm going to give the bet back on the nine. Give you a dollar back into your rack. Let's put that back there. And uh, let's just let's just keep it trying. That's all you can do is just keep on keeping on, right? When it when it gets like this. Turn the puck off. Here we go. Uh, that's another seven, guys. Absolutely a ridiculous rollout so far. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, here we go. That's an eight. Smart point. Here we go. I feel like I'm getting upset and I'm not even I don't even have any money at risk right now. That's that's how bad it is. All right, there we go. That's a three. Doesn't help me out at all. And there's a five. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can gain some traction here. We're already down. We're down so much right now. It's 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 it's, it's, it's tough. So that five is gonna pay us fifteen for one. Ten dollar ten dollar five. Let's pull that back. Let's pull this out of the rack. All right, our five's down. And there's our ten. That's another good hit. That's gonna be eighteen dollars. So ten will pay eighteen. You can do it. Uh, how do you tell you this? You can tell them twenty for two. So give you twenty. Give us back two. Make sure you pull the 10 back down, and all this can go back into your rack. Put that there. We know that's going to be $100. We'll, we'll change that out in a minute. And that 2 comes back to us. Our 10 is down. Our 5 is down. Let's see what else we can do here. That's going to be a 6, a 5, 1, 6. That's great. Call it 15 for 1. Let's go ahead and put it back into your rack. 15 for 1. Pull these back as well. It'll start adding up fast once you once you hit them, guys, because you got to remember, if you hit everything across, you've doubled your money, right? All right, that's going to be a 538. 538, so that's going to be that's perfect. This is a perfect scenario so far, okay? Then 15 for one. Let's pull our eight down. All right, I feel like we're getting somewhere here. Let's go. Hey, we're only worried about the four and nine right now. That is our point. Let's go and turn it off. That's all we're worried about, the four and nine. Our bets are off. That is an eight, okay? And again, doesn't help us out much. Turn it back on. Waiting for the four and nine. There's no reason to risk any more money. There's your nine. If Sometimes they'll just come to you guys. Get another 15 for one. We'll grab the extra two there. Pull it back. Now let's just wait for the seven to resolve or hit that four. No reason to invest more than you have to. It's going to be a nine. And that's going to be aces. That's the dots in both places. And there's a six. No help. Finally, we get a we get a run here. That's a dice off the table. It rolled all the way out. Let's grab another dice. All right, here we go. We don't want that one. There we go. 12. All right. Oh, that, it still ends up being a seven. Okay. All right, here we go. So pull the four back. That's okay, and you can tell on that shooter, you hit every you hit every number, we rolled some numbers, and we did well, okay? All right, here we go, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this up. That is, is that $100? Yep, that is $100 right here. That's 100, I'm gonna pull this back, I'm gonna give it four greens to try to sure up some of this. All right, that's gonna be, what's that, 250? All right, so we'll grab some more of these reds. Let's grab a, eh, that's all right, we'll leave them. All right, we're gonna call it 65, look for a dollar back. And we'll set these all back up. Again, the puck is off. I'm telling them a little bit premature. You usually don't do it until after the puck is on. But it is okay. You can do them. You can get your bet set out there. Say, please, up and off. And that is okay to do that. All right. Let's get a point established. Here we go, shooter. All right. It's going to be on the 8. That's going to be a 5-3-8. Let's mark it up. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's going to fall to it. I think it's going to fall to a 4-2-6. Let's see. Yep, it does. It was leaning right against the table. That's going to be a 6. Call it 15 for 1. 15 Let's call it the back. 15 for one. Okay. That's perfect. Here we go. Oh, we got poor six down. Don't forget that. Poor six all the way down. Now we're ready to roll. Oh, those things went all the way down the table. That's going to be a nine. That's going to be a six, three, nine. Let's call it another 15 for one. 15 for one. Let's pour nine down. All right. Here we go. Not looking too bad, guys. So far. All right. We got our bets ready. Here we go. Wow. All the way across the table, that is going to be box cars 12. They're doing a little hard. Box cars. There's going to be a three. Yes, a three. Craps three. That's going to be a six. That's going to be a four, two, six. That's an easy six. It doesn't help us out at all. We're not on the six. What do we got here? That's a yo 11. Still no help to us. No yo. And there's a five, three, eight. Okay, that's great. That's going to be our point. Again, that's going to pay us 15 for one. All right, call it 15. Put it back into the rack. For one, I am going to go ahead and color up these in the back, make it $100. That's 100 to get me some reds. And that is 25 back to you. 
or a hundred dollars back to you. All right, here we go, guys. Again, we are not we are not there yet, but that's okay. Oh, pull these back too. But um, but we're getting closer, right? We're getting closer to to stacking it back up. That's gonna be a five. That's gonna be a four one five. When you get so many PSOs in a row, it's definitely hard to to maneuver around something like that. There's a mid mojo, mid mochiro. And there's another back-to-back -back mid moyo. How about that? There's a ten down there on the end. That's great. We're walking there all the way down the line here. That that there's gonna pay, that ten dollar bet is gonna pay eighteen dollars. All right, pays eighteen. Let's pull these back to the rack. Boom! Look at that. Look at that, guys. We're creeping back here. All right, let's go, shooter. Let's see if we hit that four and that five. That's gonna be a nine five four nine. That's gonna be a four two six. That'll be an eight, uh, six, three, five, three, eight, five, one, six. It's a nice roll here. Can I get a four and a five? Can I get a four and a five? I don't want to get a six, one, seven. Okay, so I pulled these back. That's okay. We got mostly out of that or out of that hand with just a few left to spare. That's all right. Let's turn the puck off. Let's get another another sixty four cross. That's going to be sixty five for a dollar. And let's try it all over again, guys. There we go. Again, ten dollar units on each bet. Oop, everything here pays. Pays fourteen dollars, and of course the four and ten pays eighteen. There we go. Let's get another another point established, and let's roll it out. All right, it's gonna be a six, a four, three, seven. No help to me. That's gonna be a front line winner. Then you have a one, two, three, an ace that that will pull away the line if you're playing the pass line. Look at this run, guys. I can't get a point. I got another six, one, seven. Come on, shooter. Let's do something for me. There you go. That's gonna be a four, two, six. Mark the point. That's gonna be a six, and we're ready to roll them out, guys. That's going to be another one, two, three, craps three. That's going to be a five, one, six. Five, one, six, that's our point. That's going to pay us 15 for one. Okay, 15 for one. All right. Turn our puck off. Make sure we pull these back. Don't want to forget that. Pull those there. Pull those there. And that is going to be a four. That's going to be a three, one, four. All right, there we go. And we're all set up. That's a nine, five, four, nine. Could pay us 15 for one. Pull it out the back. Pull our nine down. All right, there we go. That's going to be a three, one, four. That's great. That's going to pay us eighteen dollars. Remember, ten dollars on a four pays eighteen. All right, let's pull it that back here. Pull a four down. Now we're looking for a five. That was our point. Looking for a five, eight, or ten. Let's get a new point established. That is the eight. Unfortunately, the puck is off. Let's go ahead and mark it up. Now let's try to hit that hard way back again. Let's do it. Where we are, we hit the hard way. Wow, did I call that or not? You gotta be kidding me. I'm pretty awesome at this. Okay, that's gonna pay us 15 for one. Let's go ahead and pay it out. And then again, we're gonna pull this back into the rack. Guys, we believe it or not, we're actually doing really well from what we was doing. I'll put another hundred dollars, pull this back, put another hundred dollars back into the green rack. Our greens are getting more stout, our reds are getting more stout. And where we were down dramatically a while ago. Now we have actually cushioned our way back to we're not even yet. Let's let's be fair. We are not even, but we are in a much better state than we were after we hit probably three to four PSOs in a row. Right, we're only looking for a five or ten, and uh, we can get out of the hand, guys. There's gonna be a box car as well. That's a ten. That's gonna be the hard way. How about that? That's a ten. That's gonna pay us eighteen dollars. Okay, eighteen bucks. Let's pull that money back. And look at here, boys. We are getting so much closer. I tell you what. That is $20 right here. Let's put that 20 right here into the bank. That's $100. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to take that $100. Why? Because I kind of want to know where my break even is, right? I want to know where I'm at when I'm break even. And um, and I am, I'm actually kind of almost there. I'm closer. I'm not there. I'm getting closer. We are getting closer to break even, which is great. That's going to be our five. We have hit. We have done it, guys. We have hit every box number. I'm talking about the odds of doing this is slim to almost never. Um, but we did it. We did it. We've hit every box number. Let's pull everything back. And I would just, I just want to know right now where we're at. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video, but let's just see where we are. That's 100. We're going to be started with 500. Two, three, four, 450, 475. Guys, we have broke back to 480, 489. If you remember where we were a while ago, we hit that many PSOs and we're only $11 down. Let's be done. Okay, from where we were to where we are now, $11 in, in the negative is I'll take that all day, all day, every day. I guess I need to roll out to continue the, the, to settle the point. 
I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. I'm, I'm walking away, guys. I don't have anything contract. I don't have anything bets out there. We're out of this hand with 11 bucks. Oh, what a, what a, what a crazy uh, series of events of how many PSUs you can have and how this thing battled back by collecting that money, putting it back into your rack. I love it. All right, guys. Again, what a terrible rollout session. What a terrible series of PSOs or one hitting downs. Even so, we still was able to manage to get back to our or close to our original bankroll. Only eleven dollars down. I'll take that. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please be cautious. Please be careful at the tables. You're not going to win. In fact, every strategy loses at some point in time. Let's not forget that every strategy loses. It depends on if you get the good roll or the bad roll. Until next time, guys. Mark the point and stay awesome.